Right, I do not know what is going on with my day, but today is just not been the day for me. Like, put on my makeup twice. That never happens. I'm never like, I'm never that into my makeup where I need to put my makeup on twice or like redo it. But today was that day. Just poured myself another coffee because it has been a hectic morning already. Oh my God, my face was literally like sandpaper earlier. I just, I just need this coffee, you know? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for me being super negative, I've just, it's been one of those mornings just in a bit of a bad mood today, so I'm really hoping this video like cheers me up because whenever I film any sort of video, I always seem to be a lot happier after. Today I have got a nasty girl clothing haul. I definitely do have a 50-50 wardrobe with secondhand charity shop clothing and then high street and I guess fast fashion clothing so I know I'm not perfect lost a bit of my way of like because I feel like when you do secondhand clothing you do need to have like a style to base it on so this is a really good way for me to kind of see what trends are around and what kind of things I want to be wearing in the spring summer we don't really know how long we're going to be in lockdown for but I do still want to like bring in a summer wardrobe I love dressing for the summer so I'm still feeling hopeful that I'll be able to even just wear an outfit in the garden you know out of all the like fast fashion brands Nasty Girl is one of my favorites their style is very up my street very like 70s sort of like vintage style got quite a lot of clothes to show you obviously I'm not going to be buying every single item but I did want to like kind of have a look at what is in store for like summer got two bags I actually haven't seen this yet I kind of forgot what I ordered as well so who knows the packaging says neo neo on it i'm not sure what that's about maybe it's the style brand i don't know um but these i'm excited about because i've been wanting a pair of like really nice sandals for ages and i feel like it's about time i update my sandal collection because all my sandals are getting ruined so these are a faux leather sandal so they look like this oh my god i absolutely love these they're like a faux crocodile style um texture on them and they're nude, obviously, and nude can go with so many things. It got a little, little tiny heel. Love this style. It's very like European. It kind of reminds me of Zara a little bit. They are 25 pounds originally, and now they're down to 12 pound 50. I forgot to say everything that's in this haul is actually in sale. So hopefully it'll still be in sale when you get your hands on it, but all the links will be in the description box if you're wanting to get your hands on any of these items. £12.50 for a good sandal, that's like Primark value, and they feel really, really good and secure. They've got like a square toe going on as well. I think they're going to go with so many cute little dresses. Light coloured jeans would look really nice, even with this dress I got on here. So that's great. Oh, this looks real nice. This is another brand as well. They must have some new brands on Nasty Girl. This is a broidery anglaise sort of midi dress and it's very lightweight. I'm a bit worried it might be see-through. If I was going on holiday, this would be what I would wear. Not this in a size extra small, but uh, this, I'm worried this is going to be a bit too big on me. It's a midi dress. It's really cute, gathered at the boob area and then it's got this like busty bit. It's like corset bit with like a little bit of button going on. Um, that's really cute because that's going to be really flattering. It's also got like a tiered skirt going down into the midi dress. And then the sleeves are kind of like puffed a bit, which is my favourite at the moment, as you can see. That with those sandals will be an absolute dream. I cannot wait to try that on. £20 and I think it was, a, yeah, originally £40. They also have it in a black, a grey and obviously the white as well. The grey is sort of like a minty colour. You can dress it up, you can dress it down for like day lush. I have a risky purchase. You know when you always have like a purchase that you make and you're like, I really don't know what that's going to look like. It's either going to look really nice or really bad. Oh my god, it's huge. That's huge. I don't know if that's going to fit me. It looks like my boobs are going to be out. This is another brand as well, Papillon. Papillon? Um, they must be doing like some more like outlet brands, but basically this is a polka dot style embroidered um, peplum top. 
and it's got a crossover detail as well. And I thought this would be really cute with just like a pair of jeans or like tucked into a skirt, but I honestly think this is gonna be a bit too big on. It feels also like a bit cheaper in its quality. It's double lined, so you can definitely not wear a bra with it, but it feels a bit, it's not very lightweight. I don't know, I'm just not sure about this one. This was definitely a risky purchase. And I got it in a small, but I think if they did an extra small, it would have been way better. It's puffed out sleeves again, and this like structured bit, it's like V-neck, but it's like a wrap detail. I think this is either gonna be really nice on or it's really not. It feels a bit big, £12.50 from £25. They do have other colors as well, like a navy color, and a white, I think. I thought it was gonna be really cute, but I'm not sure, you know? The next item, another black item, of course. So this is a black satin dress, and it's got like a square sweetheart neckline here. The boob bits are kind of not exposed, but like, it's sort of like a wired boob bit. Um, it's looks like it's gonna be quite skimming actually. I thought it was gonna be a bit like clinging because it's made out of satin. I think this is actually gonna be quite cute. It's got a puffed out sleeve, but this time it's a long sleeve. It comes with this belt as well to wrap around the waist, but I'm not usually a big fan of belts that are like this flimsy material. I usually, if I'm gonna wear a belt, wear it with um, like one of my chunky belts. So we'll see what it's like styled up, but I think that's really cute. Like, that might be really hot on, like, I don't know why, but I wanted like a little bit of a date night piece, not for like any particular reason, because obviously we can't go anywhere, but like I'm thinking a dress, like an LBD that I would wear on holiday, that I could also wear in the winter, like kind of like an all year round dress, and this like stuck out to me, because the model looked absolutely fierce. It looks like like maybe like a C or a D cup, so it probably could fit quite like booby girl. This is Nasty Girl's um, collection by the way, and I got it in a size 6 and I'm glad I did because I think hopefully it'll be nice and figure hugging on me and it feels like it could be a, like a little bit stretchy, so fingers crossed it looks nice. So that was £15, that's really good for an LBD from 40 pounds, so that's better than half price. Like, I think, oh my God, it looks stunning on the model. They do it in like this mauve pink color as well. Currently, they've got all the sizes stocked as well. 15 pounds from 40, that's actually really good. So if it fits, it might be a winner, you know. White piece, I have no idea what this is. Looks like another dress, yeah. Oh, I'm not sure about this material. This is like a cheesecloth material. It feels a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be, but it's like a smock dress. So it's like a square neckline with like a puff sleeve again, and it's gathered here. It's white and it's sort of like a cheesecloth fabric. You can see it's like textured. Um, and it's gathered at the like bust area and then it just floats down into like halfway between a midi dress and like a mini dress. Like it's probably supposed to be a mini dress, I'm not sure. But to me it's definitely gonna be, cause I'm five foot two by the way, I think this is probably gonna be a weird length on me. But I got it in a size six and it looks quite big. With stuff like this, like these floaty dresses, I always go like the smaller size because they just, I like the oversized look, but I think that their sizing is a little bit bigger. I think this would look really pretty with a tan though. No, it definitely doesn't look see-through. I like wearing dresses without a bra. That's my thing at the moment. I just love wearing no bra. Like with everything, like today, not wearing a bra. Like I'd rather not wear a bra than wear a bra. Just a plain smock dress really. And I think that if it fits really nicely, it could be a winner. I feel like it should have been made in like a linen or something like that. So it was £12.50. The model wears it really well. Originally it was £25. Let's see what it's like on again. Because everything that I think looks good is rubbish on and vice versa. Some of my bikinis look a little bit childish. So yeah, I was on the lookout for a sexy bikini. A sort of like a polka dot. I absolutely love polka dot. And it's a triangle bikini and it's 
Looks like the boob's gonna fit me fine. I like a bit of coverage on my boob, so yeah, that looks good. You can gather the triangles in a bit. These are the bottoms. They look really high-waisted, which is what I wanted. It's not a lot of coverage on the back, which I like, because if I'm gonna be honest, if I'm sunbathing or wearing a bikini, I don't like having my ass out but I don't like having it fully covered, so I'm like in between. I actually really like this bikini. The bikini was £12.50 from £25. I wouldn't pay £25 for it. £12.50, yes. This is similar to like Primark prices, I would say. Colour is really nice. The material is like quite satiny. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. Sunnies. I am on the need for sunnies. They're like square. Yeah, square sunglasses, a big frame, a very like vintage looking. That's what they look like. Got like a tortoiseshell um, frame and quite thick on the sides. I like the sort of vintage effect of these. These are very like 70s vibes going on. Um, this label needs to disappear. They do definitely protect from the sun, like everything is very yellow. And it does say on it 100% protection as well, which is really important for my blue eyes. But yeah, okay. Like, I think I like them. I'm gonna have to look back on this clip and think if I wanna keep them or not. Not sure if I'm cool enough to pull these off. Um, <laughs> but I'll try them on with a few outfits and see how they go. They were five pounds. Five pounds! I didn't realise they were five pounds. Maybe I should keep them then. They were still in stock. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, so I've been eyeing this dress up. So basically, it is a cute little rara dress. Um, it's got a lace detail on the bust area. It's got like a wiring sort of detail sort of like looks like a corset I'm not gonna lie the wiring is quite weak there's piping all the way through like here which is gonna give lots of structure to your body and it's gonna make you really zipped in but like spaghetti straps that are adjustable which is great I love this little lace detail on the boob I think they're re that's really cute this dress is beautiful <laughs> I love this. So it's tiered, quite, it's quite thick at the bottom, but it's tiered. It feels quite thick, like it's lined as well. I got this in a size six, and I think that's gonna be fine, actually. Price was 20 pounds down from 50. I don't think I'd ever buy this dress for the full price, like 50 pounds. <laughs> it does feel really weighty and like good quality compared to some of the dresses in this haul. Um, like I honestly think this is stunning and this is gonna look so so pretty on so many different body types. It's really between this dress and that other black dress I showed you, but yeah. And it's mini as well, but not too mini. 20 quid from 50, not bad, but I swear they put up the prices sometimes to make you feel like you're having a bargain. Do you know what I mean? Another summer dress, obviously, because I literally live in summer dresses. This is like sort of like a mint green. It looks mint green on the camera, but it's Actually a little darker than mint green, but I would I still think it's quite flattering the shade. Um it's got lots of little flowers on it and it's a high neck. Not sure about the high neck in summer, but we'll try it on, we'll see how it is. It's like gathered as well, like it's really stretchy, so it might give way a lot of room. Again, a puff sleeve and then gathered, it's got like that stretchy ridged gathering here on the side. I love the pattern. The pattern's got like loads of like flowers on there. It's really cute. Then it's got a tie waist here and it just goes into like an A-line skirt. I think it'll go really nicely with those sandals I just showed you. But yeah, it's an odd colour. Like, I don't think I ever have anything like this colour in my wardrobe. I got this in a size 8. Cost £15 from 30 Yeah, I'm just not sure. We'll have to try it on for me to really know if I like it or not. Next item. A very nice colour. Absolutely love this colour. So it's like a mauvey pink or like a dusty pink colour. Um, material feels quite okay. Feels like it would could do with an iron. But... This is what it looks like. I absolutely love this colour. I think it looks really nice on a tan. I think it looks really good on so many different skin tones as well. And also, I think this shape of this dress is really flattering. Um, with a square neckline, 
puff sleeves again because I think that's just what we're going to see all around the summer is just puff sleeves. It comes with a belt. Well, it should have come with a belt. There we go. Sorry, I'm being stupid. So it came with this belt as well. I actually think this time around, I think I would wear it with that belt because I think it would really cinch in the waist. Sort of like gather in here where it like zips you in at the waist and then the skirt has got like this little ruffle at the bottom. It's a mini style and I got this in a size 6 but like I said it looks a little bit bigger but I think that square line is going to be really flattering and lovely with those sandals again. I think it's got pockets. Oh my god it's got pockets as well. This is a winner. Yeah, I can't wait to try this on and with the belt I think it's going to look really nice. It says 20 quid here from £40. They also have it in black as well so if you wanted a more flattering colour, black is probably going to be that. 100% cotton so it's probably going to be quite durable and see you through and a little bit, tiny little bit more sustainable. I think I'd rather pay 20 quid for a dress that's a little bit better quality than like £12.50 for a dress that's not. So this is a body, if I remember rightly. Yeah, this is, what, what am I doing? Okay, there you go. So this is a body, it goes around your shoulders into like a halter neck, so excuse this bit. <laughs> this is hilarious, I can't believe I'm showing you like this. But basically, it's gathered here and then these kind of go like crossed as a halter like that. It's made out of that like slinky material, so it's going to be really figure hugging. I feel like this would be something you'd see in Zara for sure. Got it in a size 6, hopefully it'll fit. I always get worried about the arms when they're not adjustable because I'm such a short ass. But it's a body, so it means that it's probably going to look really cute with some jeans and like really figure hugging stuff. You could wear like a midi skirt with it. It's £11 from £22. Now... £11 for this isn't too bad, but I don't know, we'll have to see what it's like on. Also, I love a bargain as well. If you haven't noticed already, I'm a bit of a cheapskate. From what I told you, this was going to be a big haul. I did warn you. Oh yeah, I remember ordering this. Okay, this is a UK 6. They're gathered at the waist. They look really cute. I just think they're going to be hella see-through. Like, got this feeling. And they got like a little tie waist situation here. I really love the idea of these shorts. I think the, like, the look of them are really nice. If they have them in other colours, check, because I think the other colours are going to be a lot better. not sure though, because the material is quite thick. It has like a ruffle bottom as well, and I just really like them. I like the shape of them. This shape I really like on my figure, really loose around the thighs and then really tight on the waist. It's sort of like illusion that it's a skirt. They were £7 from £14, which isn't bad at all actually. £7 for a pair of shorts is quite good. But like I said, I'd rather pay out a bit more for better quality. Whatever this is, I'm not sure already. Okay, so this is a dress. <laughs> um, it's that weird material again. It's like sort of like scuba material. Very strange material. Got like this little fluff rim. Um, this is definitely going to be see-through and I'm, I'm not sure about this at all. Um, got it in a size 6. I think it's going to be a perfect size to me. It really fits for that hourglass shape. Can you see that? It's just got, it's just a plain dress with a white, um, fluff around it it's not got adjustable straps um not sure it does look a little bit cheap we'll see what it's like on like i said i think it might be see-through oh it's raining outside hello wales it was 18 pounds originally and now it's nine pounds which is really cheap they also have it in black i probably should have got the black but i have too many things that are black in the wardrobe i'm not sure about that dress the last thing to show you i did say this was going to be a hell of a haul. last thing pair of shoes so these i have been eyeing up for a while i've wanted some of these boots for ages <gasps> so they were selling ones like these in top shop for really expensive oh i do really like they smell a bit funky but i do really like these love these the very like 60s these boots are really cute i think they're really gonna be one of those killer instagram boots I really like them. I think if I kept them nicely as well, they'd be really nice because obviously they are bright white. 
bright white, not just white. Um, and also they got this really nice chunky heel going on, so really supportive. I got them in a size four, which is my usual size, and I hope they fit. Um, a square toe, which I'm a massive fan of at the moment, very like 60s. I was in for a sock boot but I don't think this is like a sock boot kind of deal. That was it guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I think that it gave me a lot of inspo for the summer. So yeah all the links will be in the description box if you want to get your hands on any of these items. Please hit the like button because it means the world to me. Hit the subscribe button if you like my content and I'll see you in the next one.